What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! All right. Uh, yeah, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have From Ashes to New. How about that? Yes, indeed. From Ashes to New, making their debut on the channel. Uh, this comes as a request from Kelly Strickland, Robert Benton, and Perry Tilton. They all want to see me react to this song. It is From Ashes to New. They're doing a cover of a Papa Roach song called Gravity. And it's featuring Jen Ledger of Skillet and Ledger, uh, apparently on vocals. So this is, we're, we're getting a lot here. We're getting From Ashes to New featuring Jen Ledger doing a Papa Roach cover. Go figure that one out. Um, have I heard the song before? I don't think so. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't heard the original, and I haven't heard this cover. I'm, I'm like positive I haven't heard the cover. Uh, the original, I don't think so. I didn't really get into Papa Roach. Papa Roach is another one of those bands that, you know, when they came out, they came out in this wave of bands that came out in, like, the early 2000s, and I was like, uh, no, not interested. I'm really not interested. So, um... Another band, I, I wouldn't go as far as to say I avoided them like I avoided Pearl Jam and Soundgarden and Nirvana, but I just, I, I didn't, I didn't actively seek them out either. I, I just was like, I, I was just indifferent. I, I, I didn't, I didn't care either way. So, as far as I know, I've never heard the song before. Now, look, as always, there is a chance I may have heard this song in passing and I just don't realize it. Like, I might have been used in a video game or something. I don't know. Um... And I won't know until I hear it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by From Ashes to New. And the video has 756,385 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Papa Roach Gravity from Ashes to New featuring Ledger. Quarantine cover. Oh, it's one of these quarantine covers. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, we all know how these go. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I was there on the day true died. Blood on my hands, throw them up in the sky. I was a number one sinner, no less. My life was a lie and my wish was a death. I fell in love with the ways of the world. Money, the fame, the booze, the girls. But I couldn't stay faithful if I tried. I turned into a devil, you can see it in my eyes. I blacked out, told you everything I ever did. I couldn't take all the lies I was living with. I broke your heart, woke up the next day. My bag's outside, yelling, get the hell away. You're not a husband, not a father, just a pig. And you can never change all the things that you did. That's when I knew it. Wouldn't last, you'll never get away when you're running from the past. I don't know how accurate they're being to the original because I've never heard the original. Um, 
So I don't know if they're taking any liberties or not. I don't know if they're breaking away and adding their own little touches or if they're staying like exact to the original. I couldn't tell you. Uh, what I can tell you is it sounds really good. The use of the piano, um, really nice. I, I'm, I'm, I like the, I like the, the softness, the, the mezzo piano level of the piano. Uh, it's, it's not overbearing. It's in the background, but it's still noticeable enough that it is filling up the sound. It, it's not being buried by everything else, which is really nice. Um, vocal delivery from all vocalists involved, well done. Drumming is solid. Uh, the guitar tone sounds good. I feel like the guitar could come up a little bit in the mix. If I'm being honest, I feel like guitar could be just a, just a tiny, tiny bit louder. But uh, overall, sounds really good right now. Um, no, the recording on this is really is really good. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, look. Obviously, this, they're not playing this live. It's very obvious they're not playing this live. I mean, they, the signs are everywhere. Um, they're shooting a music video, so they're they're lip syncing to track. You know, it's it's. It's what everybody does. It's, it's no big deal. I just don't want anybody getting the idea that they're doing this live. And no, they're not. That's impossible. <laughs> it's just, no. <laughs> There's too many things happening. There's too many sequencings. There's too many, like the piano not being played, but you were hearing it, you know. Um, Jen's mic keeps coming away from her mouth, but the, but the volume never changes, you know. It, there's just too many indiscrepancies. It's obviously not being done live. So, um what we're hearing is pre-recorded. So just letting you know. Uh, but it sounds really good. It sounds really good. Uh, let, let's keep going here. It's just how it feels When you try to numb the pain with a thousand pills You tore me down, wishing I was dead Said you wanna sleep alone in another bed But when I push away, you only pull me closer It's only over when we both wanna say it's over I gotta change, this is not who I am I wanna start over, wanna try this again You everything I need, everything I'm not So pull the trigger, give me one more shot She, I was kind of hoping she would do that when she was coming out of that last phrase. I was really thinking to myself, please tell me you're going to delay the delivery on those last few words. And she did. She delivered exactly how I was hoping for. Um, a different side of Jen that I've, I've never seen her do. And, I, and she did a really good job of it. Really good job. Um interesting it, it, it's an interesting take on her um obviously i i enjoy hearing her sing obviously but hearing her do a little verse like that um it, it's nice to see her being so diverse it, it, it's nice would i want to hear that on a regular basis probably not uh i definitely prefer her singing style more than her her versing like that but i mean it, it wasn't bad it wasn't badly done i just i prefer her singing more that's all um, this guy, his vocals, I don't know who this guy is, but his vocals are coming out pretty well too. Uh, great sustain, great clarity, great tone. Um, he's pretty, he's pretty impressive. I, I'm digging him. Let's keep going here. Oh, no. uh, back up, back up.
Nice job, including the kitty in the picture there. Nice job. Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard. It's hard for me to say if a cover was good if I don't know the original. It, it's tough, you know. It's not easy to to make that comparison when I don't have anything to compare it to. Um, nonetheless, I do have some thoughts, and I will share them with you. Uh, I will see you in the review. Well, there you go, folks. That was From Ashes to New, featuring Jen Ledger on vocals, uh, doing their rendition of the Papa Roach song called Gravity. This was a request from Kelly Strickland, Robert Benton, and Perry Tilton. Okay, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm actually, believe it or not, um, I'm going to give that a 7.7. .7. Yep, 7.7. .7. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, um, I'm gonna get to my big point at the end. Uh, there's a pretty glaring issue that I, I need to address, and I, I will address, I'll address it at the end. Now, before you start thinking it's bad, it's, believe it or not, it's not bad, it, it's actually good. Okay, so just bear with me. Um, let's start with the song itself. Um, it's hard for me to judge a cover based on an original that I've never heard. So asking me to compare the two would be like asking me to compare, you know, tomatoes to eggplants. You know, it's just, it's, you know, tomato, tomato, eggplants, just, it's not going to fly. So, um, how do I judge this? I can only judge it based on what I heard from a musical standpoint from what I heard from them. Um, what I heard from them was really good. Uh, I heard some great guitar playing. Uh, like I said, I, I feel like the electric guitar could have come up a little bit in the mix. Just a touch. Not a lot. Just a little bit because I do feel in some places it was a little hard to hear. It wasn't balanced. But uh, that's a small thing. Um, I heard bass. So I, I know bass was being played uh, on the recording. Um, it came through pretty well, came through pretty well. Drum sounded well mixed. Um, a lot of compression on that kick. I don't know why that was. It, it may be because for the purpose of recording, they, they may have, you know, if he's like in his house or whatever, they may have had to, you know, deaden it with some, you know, blankets or pillows or whatever, you know, drummers put in their, their kick drums these days to kind of deaden the sound. But it did sound a little deadened, uh, or maybe that was happening in post-production. Maybe it was maybe just a little overly compressed, but it still sounded good. It just I would have liked it if it, it, would, it would just had a little bit more resonance, just a touch, just a touch. Um, snare sounded good. Cymbal sounded good. Tom sounded good. Um, vocally, oh uh, the piano. Let's talk about the piano. Piano was nice. Like I said, it had that type of a uh, mezzo piano level to it, where it wasn't overbearing. It was kind of in the background, but. It was still present enough that its that its presence was felt and it was it was noticeable. So it wasn't completely buried, which is good. I'm glad that didn't happen. It just again added to the fullness, added to the color and the fullness and the and the in the entire overall richness of the presentation of the product. So it sounded really good. Uh, vocally, uh, three different vocalists with three different very contrasting styles. Um, the guy doing the verses, uh, good delivery, good breath control. Uh, great diction, great vowel formation. You could understand him. He doesn't. It didn't sound slurred or dirty or mumbled or muffled in any way, shape, or form. It sounded really good. Um, the other vocalist, I, I think I liked him better. Um, he has some great delivery, great sustain, great tone, good usage of uh, vocal styles. Uh, he had a couple of parts where he was projecting and open throat, full voice projections, and then there were other times where he would get breathy, uh, almost like a falsetto. I'm not sure if he actually went up into falsetto. It sounded a little more blend voice to me, but it was a little breathy, but I, I feel like that was done on purpose for the purpose of effect. Um, so really good job on his part. Uh, Jen's vocals, I mean, you know how I feel about Jen. She's my girl uh, when it comes to vocals. She is a phenomenal vocalist. She really is. Uh, she, I don't think she gets enough credit for what she does as a vocalist. She's a great drummer, don't get me wrong. Her drumming is fantastic, but I, I really feel like her, her vocalizations and her vocal ability, technique, and talent sometimes gets overlooked. Um, are there other vocalists out there better than her? Yes, there are, obviously. 
Um, but she is a phenomenal vocalist on, on her own. Um, here's the point. And so everything, everybody did a great job. Now, here's, here's where the thing is. Right now, saying what I said, the score would be about a 7.4, 7.5. So why is it coming up to a 7.7? .7? This is where the discrepancy comes into play. And this is the point I'm going to make. And I, I know I'm going to piss a lot of people off when I say this, but this is how I feel. If you're going to do a video like this, and you're going to put on this, you know, the, the quarantine thing with the boxes and the squares, don't do what so many other bands have tried to do and try to fool us, because it's not going to work, okay? Do not try to fool the viewers who have knowledge of the recording industry and have, have knowledge of the music industry into believing for one second that you guys are playing live. It's not going to fly, okay? It's just not going to fly. You're going to sit there and you're going to set up all these mics that are not being used. You're going to plug in your basses, plug in your guitars. You're going to have, you know, uh, pop screens in front of your mics and stuff like that. And you're actually going to try to look like and try to convince the crowd that are watching you on YouTube that you're actually playing live. It's not going to fly. It's not going to work. Okay. I'm giving them an extra 2.2 bump or 0.3 bump because they didn't try to do that. They didn't try to fool us. They had mics, yeah, because they're putting on a show. But if you look at if you look at a lot of things, you'll see that they were not playing live and they weren't trying to pretend. I'm gonna start off with the drummer. There were no mics on those drums. Not one, not one single mic on a, on a, a single tom, the snare. I couldn't see the kick. But there was no mics anywhere, and I know people are like, well, he was using condenser mics. Condenser mics hanging up over the cymbals are not going to pick up the cymbal sound the way that they did, and condenser mics way up there are not going to pick up the toms and snares, okay? They're not, so don't try to kid yourself, okay? They're not going to, they're not that good. Um, so mics were not, the drums were not mic'd, guitars were not plugged in, <laughs> uh, and the vocals, uh, there were no windscreens, and uh, there were no there were no pop screens on any of those mics. Jen didn't even have a foam covering on the mic, so any S's would come through super sharp. Um, and on top of that, Jen kept pulling the mic away from her mouth, and the the, the volume didn't ever change. It was it was constant. Uh, same thing with the other two. The other two did a better job of it. But here's my point. They weren't going over the top trying to convince you guys that they were doing this live. They weren't. They were putting on a show. And there's a big difference between putting on a show and trying to convince people that they're playing live. There's a big difference. One is entertaining, but one is also very obvious. It's, it's, it's a show, you know? The other one is a highly elaborated lie. And I have no respect for that. None. So I respect them for not going over the top, trying to convince people, trying to lie to people, and trying to show people, oh, we're, 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 we're playing live. <laughs> yeah, we're really playing live. No, they're not. <laughs> and they didn't do that. And that's why they're going up a couple extra things for their honesty and their integrity, okay? Did they put on a show? Did they use mics for the vocals? Yeah, they did, but that's part of the showmanship, okay? But the mic, that, but the drummer didn't sit there and mic up a bunch of drums. Guitar players didn't sit there and plug their guitars in. You know, there wasn't any of that other nonsense and BS. So they didn't try to fool anybody. They were just putting on a show. They made it obvious that they were doing that, and I got to respect that. And I do give them props for it, and that is why it's getting the extra couple of bumps up. So, hey, if you don't like it, tough. It's my show. I'm going to give the score I want to give, okay? And I'm going to give it for the reasons I feel like giving. So, 7.7, .7, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show, and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, Click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. 
Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.